Good day, everyone. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology Jamaica and mathematics teaching training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. They will be looking at a Cape Applied Mathematics Unit 1 question in module two of the syllabus, that is managing uncertainty, all right? And the topic for today is the probability theory. All right, that's the section that we're gonna look at today. Now, this question is from the May, June paper two, 2016 paper. All right, so this is actually a past paper question. So the question says, given two events R and S, such that the probability of R is equal to 0 0.6, the probability of S is equal to 0 0.5, and the probability of R intersect S is equal to 0 0.20, calculate the probability of R union S. Part two, determine the probability of R given S. Part three, state with reason whether R and S are mutually exclusive. Part four, state with reason whether R and S are independent. Let's start off with the first part. All right, so part one, solution. We are to calculate the probability of R union S. Now let us recall the, the general addition rule. All right, so the general addition rule all right the general addition rule and what does that say now it states that if i have two events all right let's say a and b the probability of a union b is going to be equal to the probability of a plus the probability of b minus the probability of A intersect B, all right? That is the general addition rule, good. And that is the rule that I'll be applying for that question in part one, all right? So it means that the probability of R union S is going to be equal to the probability of R plus the probability of S minus the probability of R intersect S, all right? That is what we will have. So let's just scroll down a bit. All right, let's continue. So they told us in the question that the probability of R is 0 0.6 plus the probability of S we know is 0 0.5 minus the probability of R intersect S which we know is 0 0.20. Now, if you put all of this in your calculator, you should get a value of 0 0.9, all right? 0 0.9, so that is the answer for the probability of R union S. So the first part is now completed. Let us now move on to the second part, which is determine the probability of R given S. No, that is what we call conditional probability. All right. So let me write it here. Conditional probability. All right. So conditional probability is what we have here. So let us go back to the formula for that. So let's say I have two events A and B. All right. So the probability of A given B is going to be equal to the probability of the intersection of the two sets. All right, so that's A intersect B. And we are going to divide that by the probability of the second set here, which is B. All right, provided that the probability of B is not equal to zero. Okay, good. If the probability of B is equal to zero, of course, we can't apply that formula, all right? So part two, let's do down here, the probability, the part two, solution, 
and we want the probability of R given S. So this is now going to be equal to the probability of the intersection of the two sets, that is R intersect S, all right? The probability of R intersect S, and I'm now going to divide that by the probability of the second set, which is S, okay? That is what we have. Now, they gave us the probability of R intersect S in the question, which is 0 0.20, all right? And we're going to divide that by the probability of S, which they also gave us, and that is 0 0.5. Now, if you put this value into your calculator, you are supposed to get 0 0.4, all right? So 0 0.4 is the answer for the probability of R given S, okay? So the second part of this question is now completed. Now we're looking at part three, which says to state with reason whether R and S are mutually exclusive, all right? So we're looking at mutually exclusive events. That is part three, so part three. All right, part three, solution. Now, what does it mean to be mutually exclusive? That is the question, all right? That is the question. Yes, so what does it mean to be mutually exclusive? All right, so let's write a statement here. If R and S, all right, if R and S are mutually exclusive, are mutually exclusive, all right, then it means that the intersection of the two sets, R intersect S, is equal to the impossible event. Now, the empty set is referred to as the impossible event, all right, and that implies, all right, so which implies that the probability of R intersect S is equal to zero, all right? So if you don't have any elements in the set, of course, the probability of that set is going to be zero, okay? So if R and S are mutually exclusive, it means that the probability of the intersection of the two sets is equal to zero. Let's go back to the question, all right? Let's go back to the question. It says that the probability, it says the probability of R intersect S is equal to 0 0.20, all right? 0 0.20, that's not zero, all right? That's not zero. So it means that the two events R and S are not mutually exclusive, all right? That's what it means. So let's write another statement. We're not going to say since, so since the probability, all right, so since the probability of R intersect S is not equal to zero, all right, then the events, then the events R and S, all right, are not, are not what? mutually exclusive, exclusive, good. And that will be our solution for part three of the question, all right? So we have stated our reason and all of that, good. Part four, state with reason whether R and S are independent. All right, so we're now at part four solution. All right, so part four. Part four solution. All right, so what do we mean now by independent events? So I'm going to write another statement. If the events, all right, so if the events are and S are 
independent independent then it means that the probability so let me scroll down it means that the probability of r given s must be equal to the first set which is the probability of the first set which is the probability of r all right that is what it means so if r and s are independent then it means that the probability of r given s is equal to the probability of r okay now we had already calculated the probability of r given s and we know the probability of r already from the question so let us look now and see if they are equal okay so here it is we have the probability of r given s being equal to 0 0.4 all right 0 0.4 so let me scroll back up i'm going to do it in another color 0 0.4 and let us now look at the probability of r the probability of r is equal to 0 0.6 all right so clearly those values are not equal right 0 0.6 is not equal to 0 0.4 so we're going to now have another statement here all right we're going to now have a statement that says since all right so since the probability of since the probability of r given s is not equal to the probability of r all right then the events all right then the events r and s are not independent so r not independent all right are not independent so the two events are not mutually exclusive and they are not independent events all right so if this video was helpful for you please ensure to like this video and subscribe to the channel all right that is it for this past paper question in the cape applied mathematics unit one all right i am mr garth reed student ambassador in the university of technology jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the school of mathematics and statistics i thank you for joining